Hey people into tier 3v3 faction ward, this is Quest for Redemption and Space Marines versus Chaos Space Marines. Where in the day just gonna get along, eh? Have a nice sit-down meal, clear the air. We have a virtually generous here with an apothecary support hero that fights in melee combat by default begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura alongside is Catalyst Force Commander, very good offense, fighting in melee, you can also tank, disrupt and support. We have the Ultramarines DLC. There it is. And then off the team is local Ghost Your Orders as a Tech Marine. Starts off in ranged combat, putting out some good damage, can also support the structures and repair. Red Chaos Fellas, Draktan, is a Chaos Sorcerer. Offensive and destructive hero with powerful battlefield manipulation and control. We have the Word Bearers DLC. Looks like it took a while for Draktan to get those first CSM out. Alongside here, Omega is a Plague Champion. Starts off in ranged combat with a damage of a time bolt gun, can get melee weapons, some decent utility and support, can build turrets and repair, but it's pretty slow. Gonna take some damage grabbing this central power point. Rounding off the teams is the Tenso with a Chaos Lord. Durable and destructive hero walks through objects and cannot be suppressed. Some powerful offense and disruption. Hangs around with a cloak of human skin because that's how he rolls. I think we're gonna have four players converging on the mid here, Force Commander smacking some CSM, oh, now he goes to smack the Plague Champion who took a bunch of damage grabbing that power, not sure if it was worth it, I don't think it was, as you can see there, he shut down the Plague Champion's range damage early on, he can't do a whole lot, Chaos Lord is now joining the fight, Heretics, are they going to get away, how are two of them still alive, okay, one of them got away, two hit points, Chaos Lord can make a massive difference here, tying up Tactical Marines takes away a lot of damage, from early Space Marine armies. He's going after some scouts at the moment, trying to hit his Kill the Weeks. If he can hit his Kill the Weeks well, he can stay in this fight for ages. It is tougher against Space Marines since Tactical Marines only have three models for you to hit. For those that don't know, Kill the Weak is the starting ability of the Chaos Lord. Big 360 attack and he heals himself for every model he hits. Also knocks them down, which is pretty fun. Has found some Tactical Marines here. Gets a good Kill the Weak right there. Stopped them capping too. Tech Marine is uh, out of cover. Got some Eternal War CSM. In fact, all three Chaos players going for double CSM. Catla with Assault Squad on the way. Local Ghost Your Orders double Tactical Marines. So Chaos Space Marines by default do slightly more melee damage than Tax. I believe it's 19 DPS for Tactical Marines and 22 for Chaos Space Marines, which is increased, of course, when they get their Eternal War. And Tactical Marines can increase their da melee damage against Chaos Space Marines by using their Kraken Bolts, which does affect their melee damage. 20% more against Heavy Infantry. So good Shotgun Blast by Overtly Generous. Might have saved the Apothecary. Didn't save the Tech Marine. I'm not sure it was up to that. Goes down. A lot of Bolt to fight in the mid for Chaos now. Assault Squad are up. Can make a big difference if they're well supported here. See the Chaos Lord is still in play. Causing all sorts of problems. Gets to kill the weak on a lone force commander there. Taking some more fires. Soaked up so much damage. Tied up so much stuff. Force commander falls now. A shaky start for space marines here. Brother Kerry could revive the force commander. And then maybe throw a heal on the tech marine. Which will revive him. He won't get the XP for it. Space marines actually noted the central power there. Got tactical marines going north for overtly generous. And we see the customized Storm Bolts are already a Vertly Generous. Loves using this thing alongside the armor of the Apothecarian and the uh, advanced medical equipment. You might see a grenade here. Perhaps it's already been used. Or they don't have the energy. 60 energy, I think, for a grenade, isn't it? Maybe we'll see it now. Maybe. There it is. Hit their own model. But hit a few. Did they not kill one? Didn't see any red pop up there. Not grenade. Aspiring champion heretics for Tenso into some Havocs now. Omega already getting some Havocs too. And Noise Marines on the field for Draktan. Assault Squad jumping in. These guys can also soak up a huge amount of damage for their team. Especially with some Apothecary support, although he's running away from him for now. So this is a big flank here from Overtly Generous. An Apothecary flank? What's he going to do? Full auto someone in the back of the head. Oh, he wants to get the heal off. But uh, looks like, yeah, local ghost, your orders was not paying attention. And dies again. Just basically wasted his heal there, overtly generous. Oh, it's purification rights. Okay. 
Vengeance rounds in for the Devastators. Tearing apart some heretics there. Get into melee, fellas. Maybe not. They lose the suppression mechanic when they use the Vengeance rounds, but it does huge amounts of damage. You can try to split units and both push against it and be careful and get in there. There's the Cacophony for Noise Marines. They were trying to bash power with their Sonic Blaster. Those Kraken Bolts hurt. Grenade is dodged, or rather retreated away from. Tactical Marines with a Flamer from Overtly Generous. Reminds me of Dark Riku play a little bit. Very steady. Often gets the Flamer up. Seems to start off slow, but grows in power. And then can really snowball late game Overtly Generous' Apothecary. Goes after this northern contested v uh, power. Tech Marine still down in the mid. Really contesting that central power, aren't they? Often happens in this map. The middle is such an awesome gateway to the other side. So it's very helpful to control it. Also have a flamer for local ghost. Catler goes tier 2 with double assault marines. It's like Sneakers Peekers in 2013 or something. If you don't know who that is, very, very old. Elite mod player was in some of the earliest faction wars and famously went, famously went double ASM with an apothecary. Lots of jumping, lots of knocking back. Those guys get very low. We do have the Sword of Flame for the Sorcerer. It does only melee damage, but the damage over time does, does make a big difference. Heretic trying to get away here. Looks like they're going to make it. Yeah, Sorcerer. Look at that tick damage there. Got a heal just in time from the Apothecary. It's level 2 now, so his heal is slightly more powerful. There's full auto on the Sorcerer, but it's going to go down and does go down. Can't stand up for long. He's only got 610 hit points to level 1, the Apothecary. Shoot that guy. He'll fall over. Scouts, as is often the case for Overtly Generous, are harassing enemy power here with their shotguns. Decapping it too. Looks like they're going to try and push the south of Space Marines here. They have a flamer. But there is, yeah, double CSM in the way. One of them's dropped a model, though. I think they should try and push. they got scouts and stuff there. Pop those Kraken bolts, try and get a grenade in. Or just a shotgun blast, honestly. We'll do some really good work. You can hit them both. There's that Sonic Blaster. Really bad news for scouts. There's a lot of damage if it hits all three models and shuts down their grenades and their shotgun blast and all that. Shuts down ranged attacks, the Sonic Blaster. They are on the power. Bashing it quite effectively with that Flamer being suppressed, though. Scouts. Did they chuck a grenade? No, I guess not. Maybe they already chucked one. Heretics are there. I was going to say they might be able to both just turn on the Heretics in melee and deal, deal with them. But uh, they were under fire from a Heavy Bolter. They are covered. Their retreat is kind of covered by that Heavy Bolter. What are these fellas doing? What are they worshipping? The power? Are they worshipping the Havocs? Well, they're worshipping Noble, which is giving a boon to the Havocs, let's say. Assault Squad in Tier 2 have their Sergeant for Catla and the others too. Sergeant has a power melee weapon, also unlocks the Merciless Strike ability, which makes them much better in a melee fight and just more dangerous in general. Jumping on anything and unleash a good Merciless is going to really hurt. On the power in force here. Double Assault Marines, a Force Commander. Apothecary, we got Flame Attacks with a Sergeant. There's that Merciless Strike you just saw over here. Don't know if they can stop this Power Bash. It's a really good Power Bash. They've got a... Here comes a defense from Omega. Plague Champion is not the quickest at supporting allies. Sorcery gets away. Has the Robes of Torment here. It'll help perhaps slow down the Assault Marines mobility. Lock them in place. And the Force Commander's got a Thunder Hammer here. Artificer and now Teleporter Pack on the way. So a lot invested in this Force Commander for Catla. But can do huge amounts of work. I mean, what are they going to do against this? They've got two jumps from the Assault Marines. They've got the Thunder Hammer. They've got the Teleport. So much disruption. They need a lot of anti-melee. And the Plague Champion is very good at anti-melee. He's gone tier 2, the last player to go. Could get some Chosen Plague Marines up. Could, of course, touch of Nurgle on the Heretics, although they don't have enough red right now. 175 red now. 
having to bash their own node to get it back, Chaos. And scouts of overtly generous. Oh, this local ghost decapping the power, uh, the VP there. They have the sergeant, they have the shotguns. Threatening the power, but blood letters are up for the Tenso. And these guys are bad news for heavy infantry. The Salt Marines won't want to fight them. Tactical Marines certainly won't want to fight them. And you can't suppress them either. They're demons. They're not interested in suppression. And they can teleport. Hey, they can teleport. And look how quickly they chopped up those Devastators. Holy crap. Gonna take a model off those guys as well, maybe. No, they got away. Scouts also in retreat. See, so the shotgun blast will knock them over. Just won't suppress them. I mean, the, the disruption from the shotgun is still useful. Power bash now for Chaos. Did they stop the full bash here? Not sure how much of it they stopped. 384 to 285. There's the cacophony. CSM turn to shoot now. Got some stern guard veterans for Catalan. Tier 3 for overtly generous. All they got was a plasma cannon. They've gone Tier 3. Start trying to get that Tier 3 train rolling. And it can, it can work really well in a 3v3 if one player goes tier 3 quickly, the other players support them with a slightly heavier tier 2 perhaps. And Catalyst tier 2 is quite heavy from the fact that they've bought upgrades for all of their squads and kitted out the Force Commander a lot. So even though they don't have a lot of units on the field, they've spent a lot in tier 2. Need to make it count now. So the Space Marines are going to get back onto the VP, the contested one. And most likely grab it. Here's Overtly Generous harassing power again with the scouts. Always manages to get them in there. Retreat grenade. Decent effort. Takes a model. Hey, if your grenade takes a model, especially Marine, it's a good grenade. These guys are not going to live. CSM standing in play too long for Omega. Does have some blood letters. Oh, the Tenso. Where are your blood letters gone? I was... Oh, they met a Dreadnought, I think. The Dreadnought dealt with them quite easily. It's strange to see, like, Bloodlet has just died to a Dreadnought, though. I'm not sure if that's what happened, because they can phase out, they can teleport away, or, hey, they could just retreat. The Tenso does have a Laz Cannon. You guys have your Blast Master? Nope, you're keeping a Sonic Blaster. I think it's slightly underutilized, a Sonic Blaster in later tiers in a 3v3 game. It's still shutting down ranged weapons. It's just usually, there's a, some kind of meat grinder going on, so you want artillery, you know? There's the advanced healing from the Apothecary. Salt Squad are starting to bully stuff. Where are those fellas? They're back at base. I saw some Marco Zinch. Yeah, Marco Zinch CSM. Double Marco Zinch CSM for Tenso. That is outrageous amounts of damage to these Marines if they can steer clear of the Assault Marines and steer clear of that Thunder Hammer too. Here comes the Dreadnought starts off as a melee unit, but we have the Assault Cannon in. Laz Cannon's going to get at least a couple of shots here. There's shot number two, and there's Malignant Blindness from the Chaos Lord. Gets a third, needs to start moving now, and he does have the Corn Worship support. Suppression from the Garrison there. Oh, the Laz Cannon didn't move. He did not move. He needed to move up, I think. Maybe they didn't want to because of the Heavy Bolter in there. 285 to 271. Marco Zeech doing their thing. So much damage to the Stone God, and that was one squad. Imagine two of those guys at level 4 or something. Got the carry with that advanced healing again. He got to shoot the Apothecary, guys. I know he's in heavy cover. Make an angle. Get into melee. Do something. Can't let him have his way late game in a 3v3. Gonna ruin ya. He's covering this power with a. Havoc, they could just skirt around it here. But the bloodletters are up. You can't skirt around these guys. They're going to get you. Oh, Force Commander, suddenly a Force Commander. Kills one. Doesn't look like he's going to get another. Bunch of chaos on the flank now. It's Draktan. Level 3 Sorcerer, overtly damage is running away. 282 to 235 on the VPs. You know what? It's pretty close on the VPs. What's going on the other power here? We have a Chaos Dreadnought from the Tenso. With some Corn Worship. The Auto Cannon, the default weapon, good damage to all targets with a small area of effect. More than a match for the Assault Cannon, that's for sure. 
much better anti-vehicle damage on this thing. And it's getting those melee attacks as well now and then. And since it has the assault cannon, it loses the melee resistance. We have some global repairs now from Local Ghost. Trying to block it with the tactical marines there. Need to keep that dreadnought moving. I think it's going to be okay. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, so close. I don't think it's going to get away. Scouts and tactical marines. Oh, sorry. Scouts and the tech marine trying to repair. One more hit might do it. Boom. Down it goes. And it's going to get away, I think. There's no anti-vehicle that I can see. Oh, aside from that. Do they have the DPS to take it down, though? Gonna get a melter gun. Dreadnought needs help. Meanwhile, in the north, the Sultan is jumping in. Force Commander's almost been dealt with. That was a decent merciless strike there. There's Hippocophany, though. Heretics fighting as hard as they can. Tenso's Dreadnought is trying to get away. Needs some support. Where's your army? They're being messed around by this bunker. Having to stay away from it. But here's some support here. Melter Gun Tech Marine is chasing. Dreadnought turns to get him into melee. There we go. And I don't think there's any missile launchers on the way, no. So it should be okay for now. Assault Terminators on the field for Catala. Got quite a, quite a scary melee army now. Double Assault Squads with that Force Commander and now Assault Terminators. Look at Overtly Generous again on this power. 257 to 182. Chaos have really struggled to contain this side. Always manages to find time to get here. Tactical Marines level 3. Very nearly level 4. Can they kill this apothecary? Surely they can. CSM trying to force melee combat on retreat since melee damage is increased against retreating units by 30%. Bloodlet is teleport to try and finish him. And they do it. Not sure if it was worth doing because he's going to get revived from there. And here we see a Land Raider Redeemer from Overtly Generous. Very light tier 2. Hard tech to the Land Raider. Land Raiders are so powerful in 3v3s. So it's a very viable strategy. Merciless Strike. CSM popping their Slaughter and a Chaos Predators in the field from Draktan. Assault Terminator is now weighing in with those heavy melee Thunder Hammers. A big threat to the tank actually. So tough, 5,400 hit points, but Terminators cannot retreat on the field. They do have a very handy teleport though, and there it is. Teleporting to get away. They're going to have Land Raider support, they're going to have Apothecary support. Apothecary is back to his feet, he's him sprinting around because of this armor of the Apothecarian. The Dreadnought lives. Almost level 2. They get their VP back, they're trying to get their power back. These are scouts of Averti Generous now trying to harass over here, might chuck a grenade. 257 to 96. Space Marines have been very strong since tier 3 hit. We do have some Chaos Terminators for Omega. And they could get Claws and be a massive threat to Catalyst Army. I think you've got to get Claws up, right? Basically forces Catalyst to get Claws and in your vehicles are a bit, a bit safer. And they do have those Mark of Zinc CSM which are a massive threat to enemy Terminators. Bractan doesn't have marks on theirs. One of them has the, the Aspiring Champion. You saw the Slaughter earlier. Double cap though for Space Marines. All this talk is for naught. They can't get those VPs under control. They're going for it. These guys are going to retreat back to the Land Raider. A lot of its power in 3v3s comes from the fact that it is a retreat point. Some more Terminators I imagine coming in here. Yep. Yeah. Overtly Generous gets the Terminators up. And they're very close to critical mass now, these Space Marine players. Level 5 Apothecary, Land Raider. Two squads of Terminators, high level Marines. Those CSM just died. Ouch. And a Plasma Cannon for added... For added Emperor's Fury. We have a Shrine to Nurgle being worshipped so these guys can reinforce off it. They can't retreat back to it, but it is a really nice Shrine. These Chaos Terminators don't have a mark yet. Subjugated here. These Terminators, the Sorcerer, can do great things against enemy Terminators. Made those guys use their teleport and then change them. This Predator tank has no mark. Dragdan 
Draktan down to two units, but he's pumping out some CSM, maybe to uh, spam Marco Zinch or something, which could do some real work here. Space Marines take back the VP for a double cap. The Tenso putting some shrines up on the VP, that's a good idea. This Dreadnought needs repairs. And they did get a decap, well done the Tenso. They lost the model, but it was worth it, well worth it. Got a last cannon there too. In the northeast though, Fake Champion has an armor of pestilence. Tank needs to be so careful. Stone Guard with their vengeance rounds loaded in. Where are Omega's Terminators? Oh, they're on the VP. Trying to get a decap. Auto cannon here. Force Commander just retreats back to the Land Raider though. Touch of Nurgle Terminators, awesome. Touch of Nurgle damage scales off the health of the model, so a lot of damage if it procs off Terminators. Well, not procs. You know what I mean. There we go. Triggers from Terminators. They teleported out. And they can reinforce off the shrine now. Well, if they had the resources. It's expensive to reinforce Chaos Terminators. 250 to 17. And uh, the bad news for Chaos is that local Ghost Your Orders is still pressuring this VP. I think they can keep him at bay though. Have a last cannon, have a dreadnought being repaired. Chaos Lord is pierced level 3 with the armor of the Inferno. Space Marines got it. 2 to 1 cap. Is that enough? It might be. Look at this. So hard to push against this. Terminators did get one reinforcement for Omega. Auto Cannon is there, ready. Bunch of CSM for Draktan. No marks though. Where's the tank? The tank is back there. Nothing has repaired it. GG. They've run out of VPs and at the end, the Plague Champion did have his Plague Fist. If it went on five, six minutes longer, maybe they could have got a foothold here. Maybe. It's tough though. Really tough when they get that Land Raider up at just the right time. These guys had a Cyclo Missile Launcher too. Got some Vanguard Veterans as well. We had a almost level 6 Apothecary. Level 7 Force Commander did a lot of work with this Thunderhammer here. Local Ghost Your Orders quietly plucking away in the south. Got a lot of decaps to help the VPs along, didn't he? Some good play there. Draktan Sorcerer level 4. That Tome of Subjugation not enough to mess with the Terminators. Quite as much as they'd like. Level 4 Plague Champion and a level 4 Chaos Lord. There you have it guys, thank you for watching, big thanks to these players for taking part and of course Impregnable, the host that organises these events and I'll see you next time.